Welcome to Make It Take It. I'm DC. Last night I had Purdue. It was a good start to the college basketball season. Purdue won by 54. Like I said, they came out flying. They have a vendetta this year after getting eliminated first round last year as a big favorite. NC NFL T's did not come out. That makes three losses in a row in the NFL. But you can watch that video if you want. I'll link it in the description below if you want to go back and say it. Because I like to keep everything well documented, easy to find, right in the description. My record for each sport is in the description. So this time of year, I shift more of my brain towards college basketball. And there's not much to go on this time of year other than remembering what the team was from last year, who they have returning this year, and then some other reports that I read. Big upset yesterday. Michigan State was upset by James Madison in their home opener. Michigan State was ranked three and four in some spots. But we know James Madison, they pulled off some early upsets last year. They are a good team. They cooled off a little bit down the stretch, but they scored tons of points last year. So the line was only four, which should have said something right there. But they're an interesting team to keep an eye on, James Madison. A lot, like I said, goes on returning. What happened from last year? We remember UNC Asheville won the Big South last year. They made the NCAA tournament. They had 27 wins. So just like Michigan State got upset yesterday in their home opener, Michigan tonight has them coming in. And Michigan has a complete new starting five. Asheville has four returning fifth-year starters. And the line's pretty decent. Michigan had a letdown season last year, and it's kind of a question mark this year. Especially, I think they got a new co couple new coaches, too. I'm taking UNC Asheville. It was plus 11 and a half. I'm taking that up to 12. I'm taking Asheville. I like a lot of the bigger dogs today. Some of the decent dogs. It's dog day. There was Mount St. Mary's getting 20 and a half. Lemoyne at Georgetown. I don't know where Lemoyne is, but... I like them plus 18 and a half at Georgetown because I think that the line should be in the 20s definitely against a team like Georgetown just based on name alone. So it's something to keep an eye on. I'm not taking those. My only lean is going to be Northern Iowa and North Texas under 130. If you remember, North Texas won the NIT last year. These are two heavy defense teams traditionally. Like I said, we'll see how things are this year. But I expect them to be defensive. North Texas had an incredible defense last year. They were holding teams in the 40s consistently. So I'm looking at under 130. Sometimes I come in and I add a comment later. So I actually did yesterday. And then I deleted it right away. It was. I hope you guys get it real time. Because nobody saw it based on what, uh, what, what it tells me. But anyway, like my video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Let me know what you think about college basketball. Today, so far, is UNC Asheville plus 12. Possibly that North Texas under. Thank you for watching. Good luck today.